There we go. That's what we're talking about. Two nice keeper halibut right there. There we go, nice doubles, me and PJ. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out halibut fishing, hopefully gonna be halibut fishing. If you didn't check out our last video, Devin hit a log, but we beat the crap out of the prop last night, and I think that we got it good enough that we're not gonna have a vibration that we can fish today. They've been catching the halibut pretty good. Got me, Devin, Sean, PJ, so four guys, so we're gonna shoot for at least 12 fish today, 12 keepers. out of the harbor here got a little bit of a vibration definitely not as bad as it was uh, yesterday supposedly I wasn't on the boat but it doesn't feel too bad right now we're gonna find out what it's like when we get up on plane here fingers crossed definitely got some vibration it looks like we're fishing today both mechanic dusted got the prop squared away we got a little vibration then we're gonna go get on the flat fish Alrighty, so the baits we're going to be fishing today, we got some green label herring. They're the larger size, they're all we could find. And then the anchovies. I wish we, you know, could find the bigger ones, but that's all they had, so we're going to run those. We're going to do the sex herring, so you have a little bend to them behind a dodger. So you get that bigger spin with the herring and then the anchovy. Similar thing, but it's going to be a little tighter spin, and we'll see what the fish are keen in on. Essentially, you're just going to run it just like that. We'll test it in the water, make sure we're getting good spin, but essentially just like that. I've always been a fan of the anchovies over the herring, but everybody has their own personal opinion. I've just always done better on anchovies. So earlier in the year when the water's still kind of cold, you want to troll so uh, super slow. So you never really get that good, good spin that you're really looking for, but the fish are still lethargic, so they see it and they'll eat it. Tide's ripping and the wind is ripping as well. We're gonna go against the tide, against the wind. See if we get on some fish here. We're gonna be dropping in four lines in the water. Came off, came off. Was digging hard, dude. Was it? Yeah. All right, we just lost the fish on the little anchovy, like I'm telling you guys. Everybody wants these herring. The little anchovies are what get, catches you the big fish. Huh, Sean? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> it does work. We're done fishing this spot. We had one bite, Devin got one bite on the little anchovy. We're gonna move spots because it's been pretty slow and I think that there's some guys catching them a little farther south, little farther south from us, so we're gonna head that way right now. Oh, baby, you got what I need. It's a bit choppy right now, so we have to let our lines out a little further. Typically, I like them straight up and down with like the weight, like a foot off the bottom but it's so rocky right now. Every time, you know, if we have them just a foot above the bottom, we're just coming down and smacking the bottom. And I don't think that's fishing too well. So we're letting like, once we hit bottom, probably five feet back, just so we're like steadily dragging the bottom. There we go, there's the first fish. Mark the spot. That's hell of it for sure. Oh, he's a good one. Ready? It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Okay, here we go. Ready? Get under him. Get under him and up, right there. Bam, there you go. Get him over. Get him. Come in here, Washington. There we go. Good 
There we go. Oh, nice. My hook just pulled. That's what we're talking about. Two nice keeper halibut right there. There we go. Nice doubles, me and PJ. All on the anchovy. On the anchovy. There we go. Out of baby. All right, you guys. First halibut of the year. Pretty stoked. Mine and PJ's. Pretty good fish. Not bad. I think the other one in there is a little bigger. Couldn't be happier. We need 10 more fish and we'll get limits. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Nice. I'm on. No, mine ain't that big. It's keeper though. Come on, gaff it. I got. It. He's keeping all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's close, dude. It's close here. Hold that. Uh, <sighs> So both times we hooked up today, they were doubles. And this is our first halibut of the year. So it was super, super hectic. We're all running around like chickens with our heads cut off. But we got three keepers. One was a little short by half an inch. We're still tacking up the same line, same contour line. Hopefully we can get some more. I'm in. Mark, 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 Mark. Is a squeaker. Just a baby. Just a baby. Not the fish we're looking for, guys. Not the fish. Still fun catching them, though. Right now, we got battlefish going on. You want to know what battlefish is? I'm going to show you. We got one boat, two boat, three boat, four boat, five boats, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the distance, you can't really see in the camera, it is loaded out here. We're fishing in the crowd. Generally, we don't like to do that, but we're catching fish, so it's working. It's blowing 25 right now. We do not have 12 fish like I said we are going to do. I probably jinxed us. Still three in the box. Lost four, five, six or so. Had a couple short strikes. The wind's blowing across the bay. Just big rollers off the back in the bay here. Not up. We ended the day with three nice halibut. I think we caught five in total, two shakers. And then we had a couple missed bites, a couple missed opportunities. I think if we would have got to that spot where we started finding the fish uh, like an hour early, an hour earlier before the wind really started picking up, we probably would have had our limits, but, but it's, it's fishing. We're here in the kitchen. I got a really cool recipe I wanted to share with you guys. It is a mango halibut ceviche. This is something you can make for your family, for your wife, for your girlfriend. They'll definitely love this. It is super easy to make and it's also super cheap too. So let's get into it. So if you've never cooked ceviche before, the process is pretty simple. You're going to take lemon and you're going to take lime and you're gonna get some juice out of these things and that's what's gonna cook your fish. The longer you cook the fish, the more well done it's gonna be. You can go as little as 15 to 20 minutes. That's gonna be more like sushi. If you go farther on, that's gonna be more like well done at two hours. I really wouldn't do anything past two hours. I have a nice filet of halibut here. I'm just gonna dice this up into cubes. We're gonna put this inside this bowl here and then I will let you know how much of the lemon and lime I'm putting in here for this amount of fish. This is about a half pound. So I have about half a pound of halibut here. So if you're gonna do this for more halibut than what I have, just double, triple, quadruple, whatever you need to do based on that amount, this is for half a pound. I'm going to take three limes. That's hopefully gonna get us close to what we want. I want about a quarter cup of lime juice. As I'm cutting these limes here, I just thought of something. You know, I know a lot of guys, they work Monday through Friday. They're looking forward to getting that paycheck on Friday. 
and they go buy a new rod to go halibut fishing or whatever. They buy that new rod, that new reel, but then they forgot they were supposed to take the girlfriend out over the weekend. Now you're broke. Now you're kind of sweating it. You're stressing it. Do this. She'll love this. Honestly, the, all the ingredients that I bought for this, and this is more than what I need, it was 20 bucks. I definitely overbought on the produce. Our three limes got us pretty close to about a quarter cup, so I'm gonna pour that in here. So for our lemon, we want about a tablespoon and a half, so about half a lemon. So now I'm gonna let this fish cook in this bowl here inside the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes. It's gonna no longer look clear, it's gonna look white. It's gonna look almost like a cooked fish. So while that fish is in the fridge cooking, you can get all your other ingredients ready to go. You're gonna take one mango, you're gonna to wanna to peel this, get all the seeds out, dice this finely. You're gonna to wanna to take about a quarter of this red onion here, dice this finely. Take some cilantro, chop and dice this, make it really fine as well. You're gonna take some avocado, dice this. And then you're gonna take some sea salt, finish the top of it. You're gonna mix it all together in a bowl. And then what would be great is if I had some jalapeno, but since I'm a guy, I always forget things at the store. I, that's why we need to make lists. I always forget. I have some Cholula here. I'll probably just finish the top of it with that just to add up some spice. And then I have some Mission tortilla strips. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty good. So that is what we're looking for. This fish has been cooking for about 45 minutes. You'll notice that white color to it. It no longer looks fleshy, more looks white like it is actually cooked. There'll be some leftover of that lemon lime mix inside the bowl. You don't need to drain that at all. We're gonna take our mango here. We're gonna add in some of our onions and cilantro here. We're gonna add in our avocado. And earlier I was talking about jalapeno would make this much better. What I'm gonna do instead of jalapeno is I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder rather than the Cholula I was talking about. I'll maybe add that at the end, but I'm just gonna go a little bit of chili powder here on top, not a crazy amount, just to spice it up with kick. And the last thing we're gonna add is some salt. So that is what we're working with right now. It's starting to look really good. We're gonna get this thing all mixed up here. The fish is a little delicate, so you don't want to go too crazy when you mix this. That is a nice looking plate, this ceviche right there. Just a little bit of lime and avocado on the top to finish it. That thing looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna snag some pics of this. Time to find out if this dish is worthy. I already know it's worthy, but gotta do it on camera. Gotta do it for the tube. Should be really good. Give this a shot here. Mmm, wow. Wow, that's super refreshing. Super, super refreshing. Wow, wow. That is super, super refreshing. That is really good. You guys, you gotta try this. You gotta try this, make it for your wife, your kids, whoever. On a hot day, that's just perfect. It might sound crazy with the mango in there, but I'm telling you, this is delicious, this is so good. If you guys like these catch and cook videos, make sure you guys leave a comment below, let us know because we definitely will do more of them. We have a bunch of them in some of our older videos, make sure you guys check it out. We got some salmon fish and chips, we got a striped bass ceviche, they've got some poke bowls and a few other things. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.